Um, yeah, no, I mean, obviously the, the ball found me initially um, and they were face guarding. Look at to your point. Um, I have Robert Williams, though. He's not going to pressure the ball um, in terms of me as a handler. So just showing patience and getting it back to our guy. Um, and then he attacked, broke down the defense. Uh, Robert Williams, obviously, he's naturally a big. So, you know, he, he's going to naturally run to the paint. Um, and it just so happened that the, the cross match was there. Luca made the right read, um, kicked it to me. Uh, and then Horford, when he rotated, he rotated through, like, the passing lane. So it wasn't a, you know, corner extra um, to, to, like, Dorian or Jalen or, like, like we've been doing the, the rest of the night. Um, you know, it was on me to kind of step up, try to try knock down the shot. And um, shot clock was low as well. So that's kind of like the, the play. I think uh, Luca's um, – basically like MO is, is to make the right basketball play um, every time down, right? Like he's going to be ultra aggressive, of course, but to try to make the right basketball play, whether that's posting up a smaller guy, beating a big, stepping back for three because he's feeling it, getting all the way to the rim, getting fouled or, or making plays for his teammates. I think that's just kind of his mentality, like make the right read every single time. Um, and, you know, so far for us, I mean, he pretty much does it at a really high clip. I mean, obviously he's in the MVP race for a reason. Um, I think there's a lot of release fouls in terms of, uh, you know, ball handlers. I think um, obviously with us getting the win, we're, we're pretty happy. Um, yeah, no, you know, one and oh. So, you know, hopefully we uh, can keep it going. Um, our thoughts and prayers with uh, Bullock, obviously. Um, you know, we welcome him back as well. So, you know, when I got here, I said whatever role. Um, I know sometimes I don't start, sometimes I finish the game. Sometimes, you know, it, it is what it is. And it's just a, about kind of banding together and getting ready for the playoffs. Could you tell us what you guys got out of Dorian, particularly in the second half when he scored 18 points? You yeah, know, obviously he was ultra efficient, knocking down the corner threes, um, which is his calling card, and then also attacking closeouts, getting to the rim, dunking. Um, just, just being aggressive in general um, in his space and when the ball found him, which was a uh, big time for us. Hey, Spencer. Um, obviously, Kevin Durant oh, – sorry, Kevin Garnett's jersey is being retired tonight. I wanted to get, like, your favorite memory of the big ticket. Uh, I mean, of him specifically, I'd probably say that anything is possible is the most iconic thing. Um, I grew up a Lakers fan, so uh, as much as I'm into KG in terms of like uh, like a like a basketball fan perspective, and I respect him being what a top, it's called three power forward, you know, five power forward of all time. Um, I wasn't necessarily his uh, biggest cheerleader when I was a kid. Um, you know, I mean, one of my favorite memories is actually probably Kobe going baseline windmill and dunking on him because uh, that was my favorite player. Um, but obviously, all, all respect to, you know, top, let's call it, what, 30, 40 player of all time. Like, you know, what he did is insane. The passion played was insane. I mean, I think he inspires um, all, all the next generation for sure. And last one, Dorothy. Spencer, hi. Thanks for your time. A uh, second ago, Luca said of you, he makes us a lot better. To, what, <laughs> to that, what do you say? Sue, thank you. <laughs> I mean, I, I think, you know, I've been in a lot of places in my career. I've been in a lot of different situations. Um, your work environment can kind of be like dating sometimes, right? Like, you want the person that wants you. Um, simple as that, right? Like, at the end of the day, you know, you, you want to be able to have peace in your work environment. You want somebody to, to want you and, and let you be you. Um, and obviously, when, it, when it's coming from top down, you know, Cuban kid and, and Luca. I mean, those, those are three big dogs really. And then well, Nico too. So four big dogs, like in the organization. Um, and if they inspire confidence and, and, you know, accept me, uh, you know, I appreciate that on my heart. Thank you. Thanks. All right, guys.